Where's Steve White Trick Boy 89 for Steve Arts 89? Well, there's a little bit of talk about Star Trek at the moment. Um, after the um, r strike sort of ended, um, there was talk of Star Trek 4 still being in development, which is interesting, but it does just seem like they're trying to drum up interest again. It doesn't seem like it's actually in development, but um, who knows. But the other thing that people are saying is that apparently Terry Metalis is potentially being stolen away from Paramount by Disney. Apparently he's working on some sort of revival um, of Escape to Witch Mountain, um, which was a film, I think Betty Davis was in the original and they remade it with The Rock a while ago. But um, apparently he's doing something with that. It may just be a one-off movie, it may be a TV series. Um, but there is also talk that once they sort of get involved with him, he's going to be involved in Marvel and get dragged into all that side of things and that they're going to basically snatch him up away from Star Trek. Because a lot of people wanted him to continue on and to do the Legacy series, which was going to be spun out of um, his third season of Star Trek Picard. And um, there doesn't seem to be any progress with that. And the sort of rumour is that Alex Kurtzman, of course, um, he was the one who hired Terry Metalis, but he didn't realise he was basically going to come in and do a better job than him and, um, you know, um, basically do a great season of Star Trek and reunite the fan base, basically, um, behind Picard, which um, had been dividing the community along with um, Discovery and everything else Kurtzman has done. So rather than harnessing that and taking advantage of that, um, and, you know, grabbing Terry and, and, and keeping him, you know, in the fold to keep working on Star Trek, it appears as though they're trying to basically get rid of him because it's like, you know, like, how dare you show us up, you know, we want to keep, you know, interest on our show and our version, the direction and now what we believe Star Trek is and should be and where it's going to go. So that seems to be what's happening, that they basically are happy to see him go, and they are making no attempt to hold on to him and develop anything with him, which of course is what the fans want, but not what they want. So um, it's hard to tell. It, I mean, it's rumor, it's gossip, but um, it's just depressing because Picard season three was great, and they were working around things were already established with the Kurtzman universe and season one and two of Picard, and even with those constrictions, they did a really good job. Um, and doing a, a series without any of that because um, they could have moved Legacy anywhere they needed to go um, in order to sort of give it some distance from the other stuff that was established and have it do its own thing, which fans wanted. Um, it could have been really good, but um, it looks like... I mean, there's no sign that he's doing anything with Star Trek and with Paramount now, which is pretty upsetting and basically what people are saying what the rooms are. So it's not a lot there, just that. But um, oh, the other talk, of course, um, is that Jonathan Frakes is um, getting a bit more attention, that he's sort of trying to perhaps step into Terry Metalis's, um shoes. Is if Terry doesn't come back and do Legacy, that he could not necessarily be a showrunner, but he just sort of has, he's sort of seen as Star Trek's director. He's sort of like the most prominent returning, um, recurring director. And he's also a member of the cast, of course. And people see him as someone who may be a unifying sort of factor. And now, I've met Jonathan, and I tried to talk to him about Star Trek, and he didn't understand Star Trek. He couldn't understand what I was saying, and he just stared at me blankly, and I'm like, oh, um, having him in charge, personally, is a bit of a worry. I don't think he gets Star Trek. He's like Patrick Stewart. He doesn't get Star Trek. Just because you're in it doesn't mean you actually know it. Just because you read the lines and, you know, speak the dialogue and play the character doesn't mean you actually understand the role or the genre or the franchise or anything so and he may be a great director but that still doesn't mean he can actually create a good Star Trek show or maintain a good Star Trek show so he may be good politically but um, I'm not sure if he actually would be good practically so those are sort of what people were talking about just um, sort of what was interesting there's only a few people intelligently talking about Star Trek at the moment including myself um, most people are just re regurgitating the same you know Kurtzman's fired and blah, 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 you know, hate, anger, blah, 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 you know, all the Doomcock um, um, fandom menace stuff. It's just the same old um, talking points for the base regurgitated. There's only a few people actually talking about um, actual rumours that are coming out of um, Paramount and that about Star Trek, which are more interesting, obviously. But um, that's, all, that's all I've heard recently. It's just a couple of people talking about it. Um, so I just want to see what people think. Um, just made me interested and I just wanted to
talk about it for a minute and speculate about it, but um, I really hope that um, Terry Mattel's working for Disney doesn't stop him working for Paramount as well and doesn't stop him doing something for Star Trek because the sort of assumption is they have to finish what they've already started. The, the things that Kurtzman has up, he's sort of pushing that stuff through. But once that's done, the next project could be, um, you know, Star Trek um, Legacy. So we don't have to lose all hope, but it sort of doesn't look like we're getting anything anytime soon um, from him. But, you know, it may still happen. So I'm trying to be um, trying to be optimistic, but um, we'll see. I'm going to go. I've been talking for five minutes. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Thanks. Bye.